All right, so I drug this truck down here from the north shop where I've been working on it a couple weeks ago, planning on taking it over to my dad's to patch the rust hole in the frame where the coil bucket is gone. Uh, the rivets for the coil bucket sheared off. The previous owner hit a pothole or a rut or a log or something that jarred this corner of the truck just enough to shear those rivets off. Behind the coil bucket was a rust hole in the frame, maybe maybe that big or so. You'll see it here in a little bit, but here we are two or three weeks after I brought it down here to work on it, and the transmission in my current work truck, which is the blue one, is getting so increasingly loud every single time I drive it that I'm, it's starting to stress me out like a lot. I'm really worried about it grenading and leaving me stranded. So I'm gonna start thrashing on this truck again. Last night I ordered the clutch kit for it and the coil bucket for it. So today I'm going to drag it over to my dad's and hopefully in like, I don't know, two, two and a half hours, knock out a quick little frame patch. Once I get this tire off and get a light on it and show you guys, you'll, I mean, it's not that bad, it's just a matter of I don't have a welder operational here at my shop or up at the north shop. All I've got on hand is a sketchy old stick welder and I would really like to do it better than that. So my dad's a professional fabricator so I'm just going to go over to his shop, patch up this frame real quick, and then tomorrow drag this thing back to the north shop and uh, tear back into that Explorer, which is the donor vehicle. You know, the drivetrain out of it is going in this. You, you guys get it at this point. You know what's going on, so... Here we go. There's the hole. And I think dad and I decided that I'm going to go on 
over here down to just north of this hole over and then see how this looks and hit it with a hammer and yell at it see if it falls apart and if it does go on down past this hole and over a little further i'll give it the hammer test and see what can stay and what needs to go So I've got my pattern drawn up, measured out, and drawn on another piece of 3 16 that I'm going to cut my new patch out of. And I would like to take this time to remind you, I am not a professional fabricator. I'm just trying to get this done the best I can, sketchy but functional, so that I can get back to working on this truck and get it back together. There's my piece measured up. You can kind of see the lines. You get the point. Y'all in there? They're on the side. I don't know where we're recording them. Oh, there it is. Oh. This freaking shield won't stay up. Had a couple screws loose. Yeah. We already knew that, though. Yeah. I gotta take some off that same spot. But she fits in there left to right now better than it did. Did you get out of here? Why you like me running the camera? Yeah, in hindsight. Chip knows. Let me have the camera. I can't hear you. You said in hindsight, and I said, Chip, uh, let me have the camera. They turned this thing off. Oh, the camera's still on. I gotta quit cussing. So wait, this will all be time. Oh, I can't see the screen there. I was gonna do a peekaboo, but I can't see the screen. Oh, well just aim the lens at me, Goofy. It turns the screen off to save battery. Battery. Got set right. Peekaboo. Oh, hi guys. Just uh, grinding. Oh yeah, this is this is just the right amount of sketchy.
got? What we got? Just a couple up top there, and little just spots. A couple little bit of little spots. I think that's got her. Sweet. Got her. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. Good enough for the guy that's going to be driving it. It's all patched and painted it. Dad painted it and patched in a little, couple little welds here and there that it needed after I did some grinding. And I think the secret to this is going to be one of those types of things where you just don't get too close to it and it looks just fine. It seems like whenever I'm pulling a loaded trailer, this thing has a bit of a pull in the steering. It pulls toward every gas station I try to go past. <laughs> Big block problems, I guess. Ooh. Yep, I love it. I love it more every time I drive it. be getting some love here real soon. gentle so as not to disturb the strap or the block also if my ramps collapse or fall or anything like that it is what it is stay out of the way yeah that's what the, the red ramps are a safety set right. of ramps under the Okay, pull it straight west. Yep, till the block falls off the trailer, please. Thank you. Oh. You pull it too hard? Oh. 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 And just my only advice is to go nice and slow, okay. but also keep tension on the brake pedal. That way you don't roll back. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to start getting used to getting in this truck. No, that's not the way to do it. I might have to put steps on it. I'm ready. better go for a lap, I think, on the golf cart. thing's so light it doesn't need to be sitting on a tire really. I may rethink my plan here. to set it on that tire. Oh, It'll just sit right here. I sat it down on that tire 
and it didn't even squish the tire down at all. Like I normally haul engines on a tire, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but this thing's so light, I couldn't believe it. Well, the transmission's just gonna sit right there because it's so light that it just doesn't need a whole tire to squish down like whenever I haul an engine somewhere.